What's up guys? It's the Vacaville iPhone King. And this is episode 2 of T-Mobile G2 ROM Review. Today I'm showing you guys an almost fully working build featuring HTC Sense 3.0. This is going to be fantastic visually on your device. It has a lot of 3D aspects within the graphics. It includes custom transitions on the home screen. Um, it, it includes new improved weather animations and all the widgets that um, the message widgets where you um, can scroll through the tiles of them they are more 3D um, when they flip behind each other um, so let's go ahead and show you guys this ROM right now this is Virtuous Fusion and it's available at the link down below. And this is only available on the G2. And possibly the Desire Z. So, first things first about HTC Sense 3.0 is the new improved lock screen. To unlock, you're going to grab your little circle. And as you can see... A carousel of your home screen spins into view. And as you saw there was the weather animation with sound effect. So that's pretty nice. Now, another aspect of this lock screen. Say that I wanted to unlock directly to my phone. I would grab the phone icon and drag it into the middle of my circle. And it's going to open directly to my phone. And then I back out to my home screen and there's the weather animation let's go ahead and take a look at those so I'm in Vacaville or, let's see let's update this so I'm in Vacaville and it's showing 71 and sunny and you can see the clouds moving and the sunshine now let's go ahead and show you guys what the rest of these look like through the demo. So that is the sunny weather animation. I can't wait for it to thunderstorm here because I want to see this on my thing, on my device. Here's cloudy. These all have sound effects as you can see. Fog. Hot. Here's partly cloudy, partly sunny, rain, snow, and windy. See if there was a, a sound effect to that snow. I'm not getting one. So the greatest thing about the weather on the HT Sense, C, HTC Sense devices is the fact that they geolocate you and update as you travel. As you can see in the widget here, which provides you with the date, the temperature, your high, low, your condition, and where you're at and your clock. Now, what else is cool about the Sense 3.0 is the widgets that are available with Sense. And as you can see, did you see that? Did you see that guys? There's the 3D transition I was talking about for your home screen. And if you really get going, you can bring it into that little circle all the way back there like that. Boom. That's reminiscent of something like that's called SPB, Mobile Shell. They had something kind of the same. So the widgets. Let's take a look at the friend stream widget. This allows you to add your Facebook, your Twitter, and LinkedIn. 
to this single widget that's going to give you all of your friends and Twitter um, contacts, all of their status updates and, twi and tweets. We're going to show right here and it's going to update um, however often you want it to. Now let's talk about some of the things that are not working with this build of Sense. Um, the G, the mail widget is not working. It won't even show up on the screen, so don't even try. Um, another thing that's off is in your weather, you'll notice that it cuts off a little bit right there. So those are two things that are not working. Everything else is pretty much working. Um, let's go ahead and show you the message widget. Uh, you can actually choose from three different styles. Let's go ahead and show you guys some of that. So if you hold on here, we choose widget, and we go to the HTC messages widget. Oh. That was the wrong one. Try that again. So we're going to go to the messages widget. And there's our first choice. I'm going to show you guys that one. And what I was talking about with those widgets that are, um, that include widgets that are like this, the transitions between these little pages here is, is advanced from the last um, sense build. To be more 3D. It actually comes through the other one. Kind of cool. And it also gives you the actual text there. Also, for the same widget, you have one with a uh, part of your message and then one that gives you the full message and that's the one I like to use because it matches my other ones now here is one of my favorite widgets available on HTC Sense it's the news widget I have 12 different sources on here all updating ran, um, often so it's all my different news. Let's click on one of those and show you what it looks like. There you go. Brings up the article and I can go to the full article. Now, what else does Sense 3.0 have? Let's go ahead and show you guys the hub. I'm not signed in, but that would be where you would go to get more widgets, more skins, more scenes, uh, more notification sounds, more ringtones, more everything. The app drawer on Sense is also different. You access it with this button over here, and it's paginated, paginated, whatever you want to call it. Now since this is not optimized fully for the G2, you'll see that it's one line off on the paging. But you can go to your, you can see your favorite apps, or frequent as you can see it says right there, or downloaded. All apps. So that is there. Um, another cool feature is any of you have used uh, Launcher Pro or ADW and know about adding an icon to your home screen from the app drawer, this is something available on Sense. As you can see, if I hold down, it bring it brought the calendar to my home screen. You remove by le dragging to the right-hand side. Um, status bar for Sense is going to show you guys your most frequent apps 
up there, scrollable, and down below you can get access to quick settings. Um, and a word of warning to you guys, if you're using ROM Manager, I've noticed that since the updates that have been coming on it lately, when you go to install an S, uh, a ROM from SD card, um, it gives you that box that says backup current ROM and clear wipe data. It also now seems to include a clear Dal Dalvik cache. Uncheck that because it seems that with that checked, the the installed ROM won't boot. Um, so do uncheck that. Um, I think that is for advanced users. So what else can I show you guys about Sense 3.0? Pretty much nothing. So go ahead and get to the link, pick this up and install it. I think you're going to like it. Best part is this lock screen. I love this lock screen. There you go. This has been Back of the iPhone King showing you guys Virtuous Fusion ROM with Sense 3.0 for the G2 from T-Mobile. Hit me up next time on the G2 ROM review when we'll be looking at the double shot port. Peace. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.